What's going on, guys? It's Greg here, aka NY Prepper. It is Tuesday, August 30th, 2022, and I have some breaking news to share with you guys. Wanted to give you this update on some space weather. So, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration of the United States just put out this uh, alert here about multiple M class solar flares in the last few hours that have caused radio blackouts across parts of North America and South America. And specifically, they're saying that multiple R1 to R2 level radio blackouts were observed overnight and that there was multiple M-class solar flares that caused these blackouts. These are radio blackouts meaning that these solar flares caused radio communications to be interrupted and affected. And an M-class solar flare is a medium strength solar flare. So, you know, we've been seeing the last couple of weeks that there's been a lot of solar flares and they've been getting pretty strong, some of them causing auroras as far south as here in Pennsylvania. And we're ramping up towards the solar cycle maximum, which is supposed to be around 2025. So we're just three years away, less than three years away from solar maximum. And as we get closer to solar maximum, we're going to see more of these solar flares and coronal mass ejections, which could cause not only radio blackouts, but they could also interfere with satellites they can interfere with even our electric grid, depending on how strong the solar flare is. Okay, they could take out our power. They could have the same effect as an EMP, and they could cause low latitude auroras to be visible. So we have to be prepared for this, guys. All right. And the last couple of weeks, we've seen just so much activity with these solar flares and uh, another solar flare to report to you guys overnight so this one is coming from the sunspot 3088 which apparently has produced over a dozen solar flares in the last week so i'm just going to read to you what noah is saying about this solar flare but it is causing an r2 radio blackout and that's on a scale from r1 to r5 so it's a moderate radio blackout uh, active NOAA SWPC region 3088 that recently rotated just beyond the western solar limb continued to produce multiple M-class solar flares, R1 to R2 radio blackouts. The largest of these flares, an M8 flare, occurred at approximately 11.08 UTC time or about 8.08 Eastern Daylight Time on August 29th. Additional flare activity included an M4, M3, and an, a long-duration M2 flare. Some effects from these events could include limited blackout of high-frequency radio communication on the sunlit side of the Earth, loss of radio contact for tens of minutes, and or degradation of low frequency navigation systems for tens of minutes. The disruption to the ionosphere could also impact amateur radio operator signal, causing it to fade at certain frequencies. As region 3088 continues to propagate around the western limb, these events should occur less and less. We are, however, continuing to monitor region number 3089 that is now nearing the center of the solar disk. So I want to just show you guys where uh, 3088 is right now. So this is 3088 over here on the right side and you can see that it's rotating away uh, from planet Earth. Okay, but we have 3089 coming into the center and this one is facing Earth directly. So we have to keep an eye on it, all right? And this one could produce possibly some strong solar flares. There was a 
solar flare earlier that caused a huge canyon to be formed uh, in the surface of the sun that was apparently 20,000 kilometers high, which is just absolutely crazy and 100,000 kilometers long. So this sunspot here has a lot of energy behind it and it could produce something. But this is 3088. And I want to just show you this graph of all of the solar flares from sunspot 3088 over the last few days. You can see over a dozen solar flares, okay, in the M class and some of them even getting close to the X class. And then X class flare is the strongest solar flare. And uh, the one that occurred last night was an M8 to M9. And you can see right here, and M9 is just below X class. And once you get into X class, that's when you're talking about very strong solar flares. Um, so, you know, this is pretty strong for still being, you know, two years out from solar maximum. This is pretty strong. So we can see there's a lot of activity the past couple of weeks. Uh, so we need to be prepared, guys. And as time goes on, there's going to be more and more of these flares. They're going to get stronger and stronger. And, uh, you know, we could have power interruptions. We could have radio blackouts. And I guess the only cool thing about these is that you could see an aurora pretty far south, which is cool. But look at all these solar flares, guys. You had an M7 uh, three days ago, an, M1, an M5, an M1, M1, M2, M2, M1, M6, M4, M3, M9, M3, M4. So just tons and tons of solar flares coming out of this sunspot. And uh, this is the scale that NOAA uses, okay, R1 to R5. And we are at an R2 today with the uh, radio blackout, all right, a moderate radio blackout. So that's pretty much it, guys. Wanted to give you this space weather update. Stay tuned to my channel for continuing coverage of the space weather as we ramp up towards solar maximum. I'll be covering all major space weather events and giving you guys updates. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification to be notified of any new uploads that I make. But that's pretty much it, guys. Take care. God bless. And don't forget the three Ps. Prepare, practice, and persevere.